Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Thank you, brother Kevin Moon. Hey, if y'all hadn't checked out God's Country and the classic, you need to do so over there with Kevin and the coach and all them great folks over at God's Country. And you get my daily weather forecast on God's Country as well. Hey, good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. We have rain moving into the the area. We'll let you know how long that's going to last and a cold rain on the way for Saturday. Details coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast for Thursday, February 9, 2023 from the Alpha Weather Center. Your buddy Jamie Dukas, uh, your local Alpha agent. Jamie can save you a lot of money with Alpha Insurance. And if you own a business, especially if you own a business, you need to check it out because uh, most folks don't know that Jamie Dukas does offer commercial business insurance for you know gas stations grocery stores restaurants auto shops uh, boutiques office buildings strip malls and medical offices just to mention a few you owe it to yourself to at least find out what jamie can do for you he can put money back in your pocket save you lots of money and it doesn't cost you a dime to find out so get in touch with jamie by scanning that qr code on the screen or click the link at the top of this video or do it the old-fashioned way. Give Jamie a call at 256-831-7770. Jamie's good folk. He's from Woodland, Alabama. He'd love to talk to you today to discuss your insurance needs. All right, let's talk some weather. Don't forget to follow us over on the YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so that when we go live for severe weather coverage, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. I don't anticipate severe weather coverage today, though we could see a few strong storms down in southern Alabama, across northwest Florida, places like Mobile, Orange Beach, Pensacola, down maybe around Panama City, and then up into the Wiregrass areas of uh, southeast Alabama, Dothan, Alabama, and back over toward uh, Lake Seminole down in southwest Georgia. Could see a strong thunderstorm this morning into early afternoon. The rest of us, uh, just an occasional shower, maybe a brief period of heavy rainfall, gusty winds. Um, you can't rule out a rumble of thunder across east Alabama or west Georgia, but we're not anticipating anything severe across the region today. Now, as we head into uh, your Friday, marginal chance of severe storms will continue across extreme southern uh, portions of Georgia. There we go. And uh, down into North Florida. But again, nothing severe across East Alabama and West Georgia on your Friday. And then as we look at Saturday, that marginal risk will continue on down into Florida. We will have a cold core upper level low move across Central Central Alabama on Saturday, and it's going to bring us a, a chance of a cold rain throughout the day on Saturday into Saturday night. Now, for you snow lovers, you've been begging for snow all season, and our weather pattern just has not been conducive for snow. It's been more conducive for severe weather uh, versus snow, and that's been because of the pattern has been a little different this winter season. All of our weather systems uh, have been coming out of the northwest, and you've heard me say this so many times here, to get a snow in the south, which that ain't supposed to happen, <laughs> that's why we live in the south, uh, but to get that occasional snow in the south, you have to have low pressure down in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, it has to run about 50 to 100 miles uh, out into the Gulf of Mexico. Cold air has to be in place, and so you get the northern fringes of that low pressure system overrunning the cold air and that's how we get those good snows across the southeast about uh, once every two or three years. Well this year the pattern's just been different. Uh, we haven't seen any low pressure systems out in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, but that pattern is beginning to change. We are coming up on the latter part of our winter season. Uh, so uh, as each day passes the chances of seeing a good snow in the south are dwindling. Uh, but there's still time. I mean we've seen snow well into February and even into March across the southeast. Remember the great blizzard of 93 that was in March. Uh, so there's still time and the pattern is changing 
And Saturday will be proof of that as we get that coal upper level low that moves across central Alabama. Be the first one we've seen this year. It's still going to be too far north to bring us any snow, measurable snow across Alabama or Georgia. Uh, but as we look into the next couple, two or three weeks, we see a couple of opportunities for low pressure systems to move further out into the Gulf of Mexico, which could be a little interesting for us as we head toward the middle and latter part of February. We're keeping an eye on that for you here on Dr. Don's weather. All right, so uh, severe weather possibilities for this morning. Really, if there is going to be any severe weather, it'll be way down there in southeast Alabama, well south of the I-85 corridor. Uh, would not expect any problems with severe weather across the Dr. Don coverage area of east Alabama or west Georgia this morning. Currently at the East Alabama Bee Company in Five Points, Alabama, we have 59 degrees on the outside. Look at that temperature yesterday. Made it all the way to 75. It was gorgeous yesterday afternoon. We had to dodge a few raindrops, but temperature-wise, you can't ask for much better this time of year. We currently have cloudy skies. There are some raindrops in the area. The wind out of the southeast at 2, gusting to 4. Humidity is 84%. The barometric pressure at 30.16. So far, officially, no rain, but that will change over the next couple of hours. Uh, the humidity is at 84%. The barometric pressure at 0.16 and uh, sunrise this morning at 629 sunsets this evening at 522 don't forget to stop by ml aubrey's in downtown roanoke and randolph farmers co-op up in wedowie to pick up that east alabama B Company. Honey, we're headed for 66 this afternoon in Roanoke, 64 in Ashland, Lineville, Widawi will go to 65, Ranburn 65, 69 in LaGrange, and we'll top out at 68 degrees down there in Auburn. All right, let's head back over here and get back on track. Let's do the six-day forecast first, then we'll show you the radar. We're looking at a 90% chance of rain today. It's not going to rain all day long, but there will be waves of showers. Uh, it'll be breezy today as well. Uh, we'll give you a 90% chance of rain. A clap of thunder from time to time can't be ruled out. Uh, 66 your afternoon high, down to 46 tonight with a 40% chance of rain. Then on Friday, a 50% chance of a hit and miss shower from time to time. Again, it won't be a rain shower situation all day long. A little cooler, 56 your high on Friday. And then on Saturday, that cold core upper level low will move right across central Alabama. Uh, and, and these type systems bring their own cold air with them. So it's going to be a raw, windy, wet day on Saturday. We'll give you a 70% chance of rain. If you go way north up there in the Tennessee Valley regions of North Alabama, southern Tennessee, uh, even back over into the North Georgia mountains, and up into the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, you could see a snowflake mixed in with the rain, especially at higher elevations above 2,500 feet. Uh, it could actually switch over to all snow late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. No accumulation issues are expected as the ground temperature will be above freezing. 37, your overnight low on Saturday night. That's across East Alabama and West Georgia. Again, up there across the Tennessee Valley regions, it may get down to around 34. That would be cold enough to support at least a mixture of snow. Uh, but again, the ground will be above freezing, so no, no problems expected. So the rain moves out. Uh, precipitation moves out Saturday night and we go back to mostly sunny skies on your Sunday so we'll at least squeeze out one decent day for the weekend 53 your high on Sunday as we start the work week it'll be sunny on Monday 61 and Tuesday we start the day sunny 61 uh, on Valentine's Day but rain returns in the afternoon uh, on Tuesday and that will continue into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Now here's the Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar scanning out of Birmingham this morning. And we see uh, those showers moving into East Alabama. We've had one uh, band of showers move across Randolph. Uh, and that's about to move into East Alabama now. A few showers down into Chambers. 
Uh, and that continues back uh, across most of our coverage counties of, of East Alabama. And the leading edge of that is just now moving into West Georgia. A zoom out, kind of give you a big overall picture of what we're looking at. No question uh, the heaviest activity, the greatest uh, reflectivity returns on the radar are showing up uh, down here in South Alabama, south of the I-85 corridor. And, kind of lined up parallel with I-65. Uh, again, the, the individual showers and thunderstorms moving to the northeast while the entire system as a whole moves off to the east. So we think the better chances of seeing any strong to marginally severe storms will be down here in places like Troy, Andalusia, Dothan, Eufaula, and then eventually over here in Albany and down toward Valdosta uh, in southern Georgia, and then again across northwest Florida this morning as well. Uh, don't anticipate any severe weather north of the I-65 corridor. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at DrDonWX.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. We invite you to go there and click that Donate button in the upper right-hand corner of our website. That's how you support us here on Dr. Don's Weather. And if you own a business and you'd like to be a partner with us so that your business scrolls on the screen, such as Genesis Weight Clinic in downtown Roanoke, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger, and I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast. Which, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, will happen first thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather.